Yeah, so I just bought a house in uh, 2020 during COVID and the basement was unfinished. So I kind of took it upon myself to um, turn it into a project. And of course, it also came with a jukebox built into the wall. Don't ask me why, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, we kind of did a lot of work to the basement. So I was basically trying to figure out what kind of interface I wanted. And like when I thought of a music interface, I'm like, I really like when cars have like CarPlay in them. So how could I make an interface like that? What do you think I should do? What was that, Will? You think we should run an Android operating system on a Raspberry Pi and use a CarPlay adapter? It's a good idea. Thank you for that. So I took Will's advice and got myself a Raspberry Pi. I hopped on Amazon and searched CarPlay adapter and went with one from CarLink Kit. For my interface, I went with a 15 inch touchscreen monitor. I unboxed everything, plugged it in, and everything worked perfectly. Once I got the screen working, for the Raspberry Pi I had to download and install an APK for the CarPlay adapter to work, and then all that was left after that was to connect my iPhone. So the way I want this to work is I'm going to have the monitor running off the Raspberry Pi, which is going to be running an Android OS. The CarPlay adapter gets plugged in on one end to the Raspberry Pi and the other end goes to a phone. The Raspberry Pi's built-in Bluetooth connects to a Bluetooth adapter, which feeds into my stereo system. And then I'm going to have an aux cord coming back from that adapter, which I'll be using for this next step. One thing I thought would be pretty cool is these poles, they're like this glass rod. If you put like addressable LEDs in there. Willow, can you? You could put like addressable LEDs and you could turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, these seven into like an equalizer. So like it reacts to the music. Went ahead and cleaned all the glass tubes because they were filthy and got an LED rope to fit inside of them. Bruh. The LEDs will be running off an Arduino. I then wrote a test program with simulated signals so that I could develop the LED animation. Once I had the animation that I wanted, I fed the rest of the LEDs through the tubes. I also played around with the color palettes. So I found this module which basically divides the incoming audio into seven bands of frequencies. All we need to do is feed it five volts to the input and we can pull the data pins back to the Arduino. I then had to wire it into the circuit and I updated the test code so that the LEDs would react to the data coming off of the modules. Now before I install it into the jukebox, I wanted to reupholster the cloth on the speaker. So the way the LEDs snake through the glass tubes, I had to do some routing on the frame and drill a few holes. Once the speaker door was installed back on the jukebox, all the addressable LED positions changed. So with trial and error, I counted up the green LED until it hit the top and bottom of each tube. And with that, the LEDs were done. Guess this could be like, like a drawer that comes out. Like it's actuated by a motor. I went back on Amazon and bought a linear actuator kit, which came with a lead screw and some guides. The motor I'm using is an integrated brushless servo and drive from Nanotech, which is coupled to the lead screw. Now I just need to connect to the motor and program in my two drawer positions. I accidentally set it at 800,000 instead of 80,000. And so this smashed and fell off the table. And now my coupling doesn't look too good. I'm gonna try to press this one back together. Next was mounting the whole mechanism together so that I can install it into the jukebox. Manually 
trigger it. Cool. And then I can trigger it again to retract. I'm gonna use these rollers and that will prop it up a little bit. Okay, so instead of just short circuiting the input, uh, I made a button instead. Okay, ready? I feel like a detonator. Good. I then installed the DIN rail mount so that I can mount all the electronics into the jukebox. Okay, so I actually have this extra LED rope. So I just kind of like dug into the um, drywall a little bit and added these pieces in the corners. We have this nice outline. All that's left to do is to uh, So that's about it. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and if you enjoyed this project, please like this video so it'll be recommended to others on YouTube. All links to parts used and instructions will also be linked in the description below. Peace.